Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you to a brand new Let's Play. This is episode 1. <laughs> We're going to be kicking off Project Zero 3, or in America, Fatal Frame 3, or I think in Japan is Zero 3. Um, if I haven't seen the first two games, they're on my channel as well. Or um, I'm not sure how connected they're going to be, although one of the main characters is from the first game. If that's... up, oh, it's going off. Hold on. I can do it from the usual place I would normally do it. Because for some reason, the sort of... not the resolution, but... Yeah, the resolution changes if you got the options by you, so you need to do it. I needed to start the game from by you. First things first, though, let's check everything out. New game, load game, album, uh, options. Album, by the way, you can take photos of ghosts and stuff and keep them. Uh, video mode, that's where you change your resolution for, or frame rate. Options, if we have a look where we're going here. I'm hoping it's got uh, subtitles. Yeah, it does. It does. It has subtitles. Um... By the way, this is the first time I've played this game for a long time, like, oh, probably since it first came out, possibly, um, 2005. I don't think it would have been that long ago, whenever I got into the games, anyway, back in the PS2 era, so I can't remember much of it. It's probably going to be pretty blind. Let's get going. Ooh, let's go for normal, just for the series. <laughs> Proper s classic uh, survival horror, by the way. <clears throat> Should we get going? I heard this house was haunted. Too bad it's not. Mm. Rumors are just rumors. I'm gonna load these up. Okay, so meet our main protagonist, Ray. I think it's pronounced Ray, R E I. Um, she was in a car crash, very sort of Silent Hill 1 ish. <laughs> um, where you, I guess her boyfriend or husband, had a bit of a tumble, had a bit of a bad turn. So he's dead. <laughs> Map, can't use that here because it seems to be like a bit of a dream, a bit of a memory for her, some weird sort of thing. Professional camera is not the camera obscura that we've had from. Other games yet, we'll get on to that as we go. Photos we haven't got any, and files you can read all your notes and stuff for puzzles and things, background info. I don't think there's very much you can actually find in this section. I don't think there's anything, I've never found anything. So we'll just have a quick run through, which is quite a nice change actually. Just ghosts hanging around, getting used to that concept, I think. I 
and try not to give too much away because this is actually my second attempt at recording this first episode now. I changed the frame rate and uh, it messed up with my help org and then... Oh no! <laughs> so I'm doing it a second time. Okay, where'd he go? Ah, other way, other way, down here, down here. I think it's only one way you can actually go. I think everything else will probably be sealed off. I, I'm not certain about that, but hello. <laughs> but I think, I think that's what it is. Should we try down this way? I think it's pretty certain that Fatal uh, Project Zero 2 is the fan favourite. But this one's still really good. Like, all of them are really good. I don't think it's any bad ones. I love this. How you're being watched by ghosts as you go through. Oh, God. I don't know if we can die. We got our health meter on the bo on the right. The blue meter. But I don't think you can actually die by you. I mean, if you can, it'd be... You'd have to force yourself to be hit by it, I think. <laughs> Anyways, just keep following you. Why you you? No, why are you? <laughs> it doesn't seem like we've got much of a choice right now. <laughs> but yeah, this is a save point. It normally glow blue, but is in the monochrome sort of dreamy state. I'm going to try and keep this episode really short, just so that I can sort of work out some technical stuff and hope that I've that I've sorted it out this time. <clears throat> so I don't have to do it a third time. <laughs> Fingers crossed, isn't it? It looks a bit blurry in general, mind, even in just the game, so if it looks it in the video. It's just how the game is, I think. PS2 days. Are you okay? Oh, it, it was nothing.
this place is. Okay, first hour, the sign. I think that's like the chapter system. Straight away, if we have a look by you, you can see our first lock has got notched hour design. So as soon as the game starts, you know the typical sort of survival horror stuff is, is you. If you have a look over by you, you can't really do much, but it, it makes me feel like it's a bit suspicious. And maybe we'll have to deal with it later on. I'm not sure. So, like I said, it's my first time trying to record this, so I know pretty much what I'm doing. Up until a certain point, I'll let you know when that is, I guess. In by you, herbal medicine. Use it if you need to. You won't be able to carry it over to the next chunk of the game. So just use it. If we have a look on the inventory, or tools, I guess. Um, four herbal medicines. I think you start with three. I guess we just found... I think we just found one. I only said one. I like how you have to walk through that ghost to get to this door. And the controllers vibrate in, like, heartbeat style. It's very tense. Very intense. Okay. Hello. I think that's like a mother and daughter. Like I said, this part I'm going to keep really short and I hope... Yeah, I hope it's okay just for me to get some kinks sorted out, some technical stuff. Anyway, camera obscura, the staple of the series. So you can shoot with it, it is your gun. You get film in order to aim, press triangle, there we go. Then you can press either X or R1 in order to to actually shoot. So we'll carry on a bit longer. You might see like a blue lantern out by there then, that's your save point. We'll make use of that in a moment. Let's just go this way first. Why not? We won't be doing much this way anyway. Other way, other way. I mean, it can't go that way. It's like a big square. If you press L2, get a map up. You can do it from the menu as well if you want to do that. But you can't go past by there. So we're just going in a big square. <laughs> Peephole. So if you press X, you can interact with things. Pretty standard. And then if you get the camera up and it's blue, X or R1 to shoot. And you get points. Those points... Um, let me have a think. Those points, they sort of... They let you upgrade your camera. So it's, it's good. It's good to find these ghosts. Some people just... They need to find the ghosts. They find... Um, finding the ghost is a big point of the game, I guess. Right, you need, I think you need to take a photo of this one to progress. Because after we finish this chunk, you've got a dark room back at the house. Well, you'll see. You'll see. Mm. She's scared shitless. Good reason. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come back. Did I get it? In time. I did. I didn't last time. So if you press left and right on the directional pad... You can go between the different types. The lower the number of type, like, hold on, we got type 7 there. That'll do less damage to ghosts than type 14 and higher and higher kind of thing. But yeah, this is where we're going to end things off for today. I know it's a short episode and I'm sorry about that. I need to sort things out and hopefully this will be the only one that gets this short. So, you'll see a couple of save files now from last time. How embarrassing. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit.